So iTunes offers us a very easy and simple way to convert our music on CDs into digital files. But what if you're interested in digitizing your movies or television shows on DVD? Poke around in iTunes for a few minutes and you'll find there's no such option. The fact is that there's still a massive legal battle going on that's preventing you, the person who paid for your DVDs, to do what you want with them. While under a specific type of copyright law called fair use, you are allowed to copy them, as long as it's for your own personal use and not for distribution. In this video, I'll detail just how to do it, but if you're interested in learning more about the issues surrounding fair use, I've posted some links in the show notes over at ThoughtShots.com. Since iTunes can't do what we need it to do, we'll need to download a few programs to handle the DVD ripping. There are a few commercial options, like Rip It or DVD Ripper, that make the process simple, but I've gone entirely with free open source programs in this tutorial. I think this method is fairly easy, but if you feel like you need tech support or additional assistance, you may want to go with one of these commercial options. The first thing you'll need is a video framework, something that provides you with all the back-end video codec libraries you'll need to do this. If you don't know what a video codec is, that's okay. All you really need to know is that you want a program called VLC Media Player. Not only does VLC provide you with a video framework, but it's also a fantastic lightweight open source media player. Next thing you'll need is a way around DVD encryption, which is just another term for copy protection. For the Mac, the best decryption software I've found is a program called Fairmount. Now when you install this, make sure you're installing Fairmount. For some reason, the makers of Fairmount bundle their commercial program, DVD Remaster, into the download as well. Decryption programs like Fairmount can get around most types of encryption and allow you to copy the files on the DVD directly to the computer. Finally, if you want files that can be viewed on your iPhone or iPod Touch, you'll need video encoding software to convert those raw files from the DVD into a format that is viewable on these devices. In this video, I'll be using a program called Handbrake. Okay, now that you've got all these programs installed, you can start the process. You're going to start by launching Fairmount. Create a folder on your desktop that you want the files to be copied into. I'll name my folder My DVD. Now I'll insert the DVD and let Fairmount load it up. You'll notice once this is done that instead of the usual DVD icon on your desktop, you'll see the DVD as a mounted disk. You want to go into this disk and simply drag the Video TS and Audio TS folders over to the folder you created. Now depending on how fast your hardware is, this could take up to an hour, probably closer to 30 or 40 minutes. But now that we've got it up and running, we can go take a break. Okay, we're back, and it's just about finished. Now, we'll find that the files we've just copied over can now be viewed using VLC Player, and should behave just like any DVD, with all the menus intact. I can open it in VLC by going to File, Open Disk. In this pop-up box, I'll choose the button next to Video TS Folder and click Browse to locate the folder where I copied in the files. This is perfectly fine, but if you want the videos to play on your iPhone or iPod Touch, you'll need to encode the video into a format that's viewable on these devices. Now what I like to do now, especially if I'm ripping a DVD for a TV show, is to find out the title numbers of each video I want to extract. Now just for some background, when you click on an item in a DVD menu, your DVD player goes to that specific title number and plays that, Every single menu item has a title number, and you certainly don't want every single item extracted as a file. So when you click an item to play, just go into the playback menu in VLC Player. Go into the title menu. This will give you a drop-down menu of all the titles on the DVD, and the one you've selected to play will be the one checked off. Write down that number because you'll need it in the next step. The next step is to use Handbrake to convert the video to a format that can be viewed on your device. When you open up Handbrake, you'll automatically get a file browser. Find the file that you copied your DVD to and select Open. Handbrake will go in and analyze the DVD, which may take a minute or two. Now you may find all the different options that Handbrake presents somewhat confusing. There's this whole list of presets off to the right here, all these different options. What exactly do they mean? My personal philosophy is you don't need to worry about any of these things. Just leave it at normal at the default setting and it works great for watching on your TV, on your iPod, or on a computer. Of course, if you don't have an iPhone or iPod Touch, your mileage may vary. You should consult your device's manual or some sort of online community. If file size is a concern for you, 
In this case, you can select the iPhone or iPod Touch preset, and it'll create smaller video files. Personally, I don't like it because it degrades the video quality quite a bit, to the point where it looks terrible on a computer or TV. Now, the next thing you'll want to do is prep your files. Remember the title numbers you wrote down? You'll see all the titles in this drop-down menu at the top. Select the first title you'll be ripping, and name the file in the destination file box. Click Add to Queue to add this to your ripping queue. Repeat the process for all the titles you'll be ripping, and make sure that each title has a different file name. If you don't change the file name, you'll just overwrite the same file over and over again. Now just to double check before you start, click Show Queue, which will bring up a pop-up window showing all the titles that you're about to rip. I like to make sure again that I gave all the titles a different name. When you're ready, click the Start button. The process of converting the video files takes about several hours and pretty much makes your computer unusable. So you want to do this at a time when you won't be needing to do anything with your computer. And that's it. When the process is done, you'll find all the files where you specified them to be in the destination file box. To use it with your iPhone or iPod Touch, you'll need to add it to your iTunes library. Go to File, Add to Library in iTunes, and it'll copy the files into your iTunes library. Now, there's no guarantee that absolutely every DVD out there can be ripped using this process. New DVDs especially have a lot of weird copy protection that these programs have difficulty handling. If Fairmount is having trouble reading a disc, you may want to skip that step entirely and encode the video and handbrake straight from the DVD. To do this, you'll just select the DVD itself from the open source option in Handbrake and encode as you normally do. A lot of people actually use just Handbrake, but I think using a DVD decryptor speeds up the process and is a lot less taxing on your optical drive. In a lot of newer DVDs, you'll also find hundreds and hundreds of title numbers, which are meant to confuse copiers. All you need to do to get around this is to follow the process I showed you to find the correct title numbers in VLC and only rip those titles. Thanks for watching. As always, you can view this video or any of my other technology learning videos for free at ThoughtShots.com, where you can also find a full transcript of this video, as well as show notes and related web links.